there was no trees. We didn't take out any trees, but it was all overgrown and it was a dump site. So after, um, and the first thing I want to talk to you about is storm water. You guys ever heard that word? So what happens when it rains? What happens to that water? Yeah, it does go to the lowest point. How take all your scraps from the kitchen right you're making soup you got the ends of the celery you got the onion tops that you don't use right all of that stuff that typically you know a lot of people put into the garbage can you can actually just put that out into your garden and it will break down and you know collect it in some kind of bin and you stir it up and then it breaks down a lot faster than if you just bury it into the garden right and so okay, we have plenty Yes, you want one? Mm -hmm. Can I keep it? Yes, you may. Yes. Anybody want to say? They drilled the holes in there and then they inoculated it, which means basically they put like mushroom seed in there and then they covered it up and we brought them back here and we soaked them in water for a while and then we let them sit. And then the mushrooms grow out of all these holes. You never ever want to eat a mushroom that you don't, aren't 100% know what it is because it can make you very sick. Okay? that is inside the can canopy is very different than the climate that is outside of the canopy, right? So the They wanted some benches to be able to sit around, do their work, and be able to charge their laptops or their cell phones or whatever that were solar powered. So we have several of these located um, all across campus. Uh, we saw some photographers, right? So some students come to university to, to learn how to do that as a professional, right? Um, and all over campus we have some installations from students, and this is one of them that you can take a look at. So some students built this, and when it's not cloudy, and the sun is shining lights through those panels, you can actually see the color panels um, on the grass. Which is kind of cool. Cool. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. So this is all done by students. I saw two. We have some sliders. I see another um, this kind of ecosystem that we're walking through, not the water one, that's an aquatic ecosystem, but the land that is next to the waterways, anybody know what kind of ecosystem that is? Wetlands. Wetlands are like giant sponges and filters. So what, you know, when, whatever we have going on on the land that the rainwater uh, touches, whether it's like paint from our houses or gas and oil from our cars or insecticide herbicides all the water that the rainwater picks that up and it starts to bring it toward our surface waters like this and wetlands are really good filters they filter that stuff out before the water gets to here thank you miss cassidy we learned about different types of plants the fish we learned about the sage the sage, sage. the sage One thing I learned is that their swamp hibiscus is from originally from Pensacola or Florida. So what do we call that word? Native. Native. About different types of herbs and that you could eat them. Uh, we, we learned about two different kinds of turtles and one of them is a soft shell turtle. We learned about the button bog. We learned that the soft shell turtle has a long neck like a giraffe. I learned about compost again. Um, it's good for the plants, and you can use um, you can use like 
like food scraps that you don't use and put in compost to make it better. That's all.